Okay, it's uh, it's about swarm season here in Utah, and uh, we're just making some final preps on the uh, swarm traps. Um, I am doing a little research, and uh, we're going to test some of these uh, swarm lures out. I ordered these online. You can um, uh, see the links below on uh, some of them that I ordered. And uh, we're going to test these out. So this is the first video of uh, my swarm lure traps. I don't know, honestly, um, how well my research is going to go due to the fact that there's so many different conditions that can attract a swarm. So we're going to try these out either way, try to get an advantage and uh, capture some swarms this year. And uh, hopefully we do. So we've got four sets of swarm lures here. Probably the most common that uh, you see the advertising for is uh, the Swarm Commander. So I'll be interested to see how those do. Um, I could immediately tell when I opened up the case that there was a essential oil um, smell coming from that. Um, it was a little bit different than the typical lemongrass and uh, uh, I forgot peppermint or wintergreen or whatnot so they've they've got something else going there so either way we're going to try this out and uh, uh, subscribe to see uh, video number two when the season's uh, done and I'll give you my results thanks for watching all right here's my uh, two type of swarm traps here um, this is the five frame nuke that you can print off on B source build it yourself and um, in each of them, I'm putting a little um, smell of home. I melted down some some leftover wax from last year and uh, threw it in there. The bees like uh, their new home to smell like old home, as if there were bees there. And I've got the, if you can see there, I've got the Swarmler um, taped there with a hole on the top to allow that pheromone to, to release. And then I will spray the front entrance with some every time I visit it, just like every week or two. So, um, people say that this box will probably do better because of the size. Um, we will see though. So stay tuned.